would, I'd like you to meet my sister Etta. Right. She's a, an old song from way back, and she has a... You know, she enjoys, she enjoys doing so many different kinds of people. You know for a fact that they eventually end up on our shows. Yes, for Mom and Pina and Grandma. We're going to do this one right now. You've heard of Roseanne, Rosanna, Dan. Hey, it's always something. If it's not one thing, it's something else. It's just like this Christmas Yuletide season. It was real crummy for me. I don't know about you. Sometimes or oftentimes people get real depressed. Well, this was my time to be depressed than I was. So I decided to treat myself to a real snappy time. Snappy time. A snappy, snappy time. Not to be confused with snappy time. Right, 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 right. Anyway, and I decided to treat myself to real snap time and go to one of the real in places around town, and you all know what that is, the hot tub, right? So what I did was I rode the Fredericks to Hollywood, and I got a real snappy, slinky yeah. type bathing suit, yeah. expecting to meet some real interesting provocative, pr provocative? No, uh, provocative. <laughs> pr provocative. Well, whatever that word is. is. Yeah. Interesting yeah. people, and who do I walk into the hot tub, and who do you think I see right away? Oh, oh. Ooh, that very fancy pants singer, Gary Raffle Raffle. <laughs> That's right, he's sitting there in all his hairy glory, <laughs> sitting there in the hot tub. But what this very fancy singer did not know is that he had a piece of sweater stuck in his belly button, and it wouldn't fall off. Come on, a big hand for Ed and Rosanna, Rosanna and And a big hand for Gary. He's been a regular part of this show now for two weeks. <laughs> he's a fun kind of guy to He's a on, cute you know? guy, that's why. He's a good-looking guy, isn't he, ladies? Gary Raffinelli? Oh, I think he's so cute. There's some guys out there cheering him up. Kidding. No, I think he's a dog. Chris Sandy was right. No. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Come on, we want to see your belly button. <laughs> That's Gary. He wanted to show you his belly button. Yes, he showed me it before he had a cigarette butt put out. <laughs> he said, I liked it. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, I don't even think we ought to go on with the rest of it. Uh, Donna Summers. You like Donna Summers, too, right? No, not too bad. Okay, well, how about uh, Edith Ann? You like it in the Buster likes to dance on my legs, <laughs> too, yes. <laughs> you your, know, dog, your dog, Buster. My, him, him, too. There's a guy, Buster, out there, he just grabs on, you know, it's so embarrassing, I'm going like this. But this is one of uh, Judy Garland's, one of her very first motion picture appearances. <laughs> and Edna has been a fan of Judy Garland's for a long time, so for Mom and Peanut and Grandma. <laughs> just clumsy, that's all. And honest, Agent Mr. Gable, I'll never forget you.
show for sure? Okay. Ed has been joking about Melancholy Baby Alt for three weeks now, hasn't she? She's gonna do a little bit of it for you on the last show. I won't be here, but she will be. <laughs> but that's something you made me love you, that's it. I'm sure you've already been able to figure it out, I mean, I think we've told you enough, that Hawaii is a very special kind of place. It, it picks a... Oh, no. We have a request for New York, New York from Pat and Rick and Michael, or Michelle, I guess. Start spreading the news. I'm leaving you today. I want to be part of it. New York, New York, New listen, York. Listen, 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 listen. Keep them in suspense, see? I was jamming. They'll all stay for the third show, and you can do it again for them on the third show, okay? I was jamming. That's all right. We'll jam it on the third show, okay? But in the past few years, Hawaii has picked some of the some of the acts that have really been big all over the world to be uh, favorites of theirs, to almost call them their own. And the Young Rascals was such an act. I mean, I know they were big everywhere, but they were giants in Hawaii. A lot of them even made their homes there. So we were growing up with the music of the re Young Rascals. Excuse me. Lynn. When we were all just about Excuse the time me. we were getting into the business. Excuse me. There. We were growing up in Hawaii, and the Young Rascals weren't big there. I was there, and I, I was... Um, you didn't grow up with the Young Rascals? No, they were big in Uganda. <laughs> no, they were not. They were big in... Who did you grow up with? Leif Garrett. Donnie Marie Osmond. Donnie Marie. Hey, go show me your teeth. See there? Uh, Andy Gibb. Oh, who did you... Andy Gibb. Okay. How about you? Liz Damon. Thank you. Thank you. You're an old guy. Thanks a lot. <laughs> <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I know I know this music because I went to rehearsal and Randy knows it because he arranged it. The rest of them will jam. Okay, okay. Right, just find a place. Go for it. It's a beautiful morning. Ah, I think I'll go outside for a while and just smile.
it's possible. This next song will always be the Young Rascals. But for the next few minutes, we're going to make it a little bit of L-D-O-E. That's us. It's a song we picked for 81. Started off with it in the Christmas season. We never... Uh, Randy, please stand up. He is standing. Thank you very much. I missed that one. Okay, is that good enough? Is he standing up? There he is. That's right. Stand up a little longer. Yes! Oh! Hi. We weren't really going to have much of a party tonight. Just kind of have a little drink to Randy and everybody go home, but... <gasps> this, who is it from? Yeah, Cindy. Cindy and Leonard in the back? Cindy? And Le Thank you, Cindy. Yes, Cindy. Come on, a big round of applause. Help us thank Cindy. Thank you, Cindy. Thank you. Thank you. If you knew Cindy like that, you knew Cindy. No, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute. Mary Lou, where's Mary Lou? Right there. Mary Lou is also came in on her night off. She's been closing night with us. Mm -hmm. You have to see the dress she's got I on. I saw it. My no. gosh. She is Don't adult. stand up. Don't ever stand up again. <laughs> until <laughs> we get off. Yeah, wait till we leave, anyhow. Uh, Mary Lou's also brought uh, some champagne to share with us tonight. Whoa. <laughs> but right now, we have a request from Mule Train. You want to hey. see Mule Train? <laughs> 
those ladies got that stuff down pat. <laughs> this is one of Etta's pantomimes that she saw a while ago, and, and she really fell in love with it. And she wanted to do it in the show very badly. And about that time, we were opening up here for another engagement, and I knew, well, I know what the room is like, so I asked her to go out and get real attention-grabbing props, okay? Because this is a big stage, and a very big room, and a big place, the MGM Grand here in Reno, and you have to be able to keep people's attention. Mary, you want to take care of this for me? That's a big rope. Yeah, it is. That's one of the biggest ropes I've ever seen. Me too. <laughs> Don't you think it's, it's, excuse me, I was going to help you there, thanks. Don't you think it's a little big for your mule? Yes, I do it is, but like I said, he likes it. He really likes that yes, stuff? Yes, he prefers leather and chains. We always have arguments because I like whips. Do you like whips, Liz? I never really thought about it, thanks. Do you like spikes? <laughs> Olivia likes whips. <laughs> <laughs> Does she really? Give me the, there, give me the mule. And get rid of this thing now, okay? You want to tell everybody about your bed? Um, yeah. Okay. No, I don't. I'm not gonna say anything about the bed, okay? Because it's just, well, it's just very self-explanatory. I do want to say one thing, though. I want to say that I happen to think it's the greatest thing I've ever done in my life. And I and agree I, with you on that. That's true. Yeah. This is gonna put her on television. Someday, somebody will come in and see her and say, TV. He'll that's right. This is everybody. Watch. Yes. Take it, Don. Take me right here. in it from the other pantomime that Etta does, and you really picked up on that quite well. Of course, they keep trying to I throw me out. To, man, I want you to know that nobody in this group knew about that until tonight. It, yeah. you, you can thank Teresa and Don for that in particular. Yeah, I'll see them later. <laughs> <laughs> but she really caught on fast, didn't she? Come sure on, did. Etta. Thank you. Right. Right. <laughs> always trying to throw me off, boy. Wait to see what they got planned for you in the next show. Yeah, I'm not going to be here. <laughs> Ed is going to sing a song for you that I like for two reasons. About halfway through the song, she's going to show you how to disco dance in your seats. Are you excited? Oh, the over-enthusiasm here. The second reason I like it is because right before your very eyes, without any makeup change whatsoever, without any special film effects or tape effects, Etta will look like Donna Summers. Just watch her face. You'll see. It's a phenomenon. Those amazing animals. She's going to be on It is a phenomenon that I don't understand myself, but it does happen, and I'm very lucky because of it. Yes, you can watch, but please be quiet. I have to concentrate, okay? Here I go, watch. Someone found a letter you wrote me on the radio. Do you see it? Then they told the world is how you failed. So it's all changing. It must have fallen out. Never said your name, but I knew just who they meant. Then you have to get taller. 